Hey everyone, uh, we, we thought we'd uh, make some educational videos or more informational actually. We get a lot of people that come through the station on a weekly basis <clears throat> that ask us questions and they have a very common thread. Um, so to kick off basically a set of videos of talking about those, uh, we thought we'd talk about radios. It's probably a good week uh, considering one of them's a uh, raffle prize and we actually uh, needed to fit two new radio upgrades to some of our boats. Um, so radios uh, on your boat, uh, VHF, you also have 27 meg and high frequency HF. We won't talk about those, they're uh, not in the scope of this video, but if you wanna know more, leave us a comment below and we can definitely make something about those. So Coast Guard Brisbane maintain a radio room uh, on weekends from six to six each day, including public holidays, where we'll take you on a radio log and log your trip, uh, make sure that you get out there safely and get home safely. Uh, so it's a great, something to have on your boat as an extra safety feature. Um, it adds to things like flares, EPIRBs, and it's a communication device where your mobile phone may not work due to not having battery or any reception. Uh, so here I got an ICOM unit. It's an M423G. Um, it's a pretty new unit from ICOM. Um, we're fitting two of these at the moment. Uh, you can get whatever radio you want. Our recommendation would be obviously ICOM. We run them on all of our boats. Uh, they're a good unit and some of our units are almost 15 years old and not having a single issue. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to show you a demonstrate a radio call um, in the next part of this video, show you how to log on. Some people may not feel too comfortable about it or um, just not be sure. So we'll do a quick demonstration. To operate a VHF radio, you do need to have a license. Uh, that license is issued by federal uh, government bodies. Um, you can do the course at Coast Guard Brisbane. It's roughly three quarters of a day. If you want to uh, enroll in that course or find out more information, we'll leave some information above uh, and allow you to uh, get on it. So do need a license to operate one. If it's an emergency situation, don't worry about the license, use it. Um, and also the people on your boat as well should have a rough idea how the radio works when you take them out. So there's a few set of common channels that will get used with VHF radios around the bay. Uh, the first one is 16, that's emergency channel. So if, if you need to speak on the radio, it's not an emergency, try and stay off channel 16. 16 is emergencies only. If you have an emergency, go to channel 16 and state what your emergency is, where you're located, what type of boat you've got, how many people on board, just start going through as much information as you can. Uh, the next most common channel we have in the bay is 73. Uh, that's the common working radio for all the volunteer marine groups around the bay. You can log on and log off on 73. Um, any Coast Guard or VMR unit will take your call on that. The next uh, three channels that we are commonly used are the repeaters. So repeaters allow you to get further range and get back to uh, land. So the first repeater is 21, that's on Cape Morton. You also have 81 for the northern end of Morton Bay and you also have 82 for Gold Coast area and around Jacobs Well. So we'll uh, go and store one of these units in the boat.
installing the radio in our uh, little rubber duck here. We've also installed another one in the jet ski. Um, so two new radios. We do these ones probably slightly different to what some people are normally aware of. Um, because we've got nowhere to sort of put the big head unit, we want what's called a remote microphone. So these are a separate item sold by ICOM. Um, that you can just have hanging on your dash and then that means you can put the head unit somewhere else in your boat. Uh, great thing to have. So uh, we're gonna demonstrate a radio call, so how to log your vessel in if you're going out for the day. Basically, the information you wanna give is your call sign, your vessel registration, how many people are on board, where you're going to, when you, what time you're coming back, and a mobile phone number. Um, so for the purpose of this video, we'll call this boat Cool Runnings because it was a good movie and uh, we'll uh, say we're going out to Peel Island for the day. Coast Guard Brisbane, Coast Guard Brisbane, here is Cool Runnings, Cool Runnings, Cool Runnings on 7-2. Cool Runnings, Brisbane Coast Guard, go ahead. Yeah, Brisbane Coast Guard, Cool Runnings, uh, just like to go on your log for the day. Uh, got to POB and we're heading out to Horseshoe Bay. Roger that, Cool Runnings. Can I get a Vessel Rego mobile phone number and an estimated time of return, please, over. Yeah, the vessel rego is 29347QD, estimated time of return is 1400, and mobile phone number is 0438501282. Roger that, cool runnings. Enjoy your day out there, and give us a call on your return, over. Cool runnings, standing by. Brisbane Coast Guard, standing by. So guys, radio calls that simple. If you forget any of the information, the operator on the radio will just prompt you for it. Um, it does pay to have somewhere in your boat your vessel registration number if it's hard to get at or you don't remember it. So we're uh, finishing this video up in our radio room. <clears throat> it's sort of our little nerve centre for where we take all your radio calls. If you'd like to log on, feel free to use your radio. Uh, contact us on 73 and we can log your trip for you. If not, you can always call us by phone. Um, if you need a radio for your boat or you're interested in winning this uh, great icon unit here, you can uh, enter in this week's meat tray raffles and it's one of the prizes. The link will be above. Um, on top of that, if you're interested in getting your VHF marine radio license, uh, we'll leave some information up there and you can contact us and book in for that course. If you've got any uh, other suggestions for videos you'd like to see from us around a topic around boating, uh, leave a comment below. We'll do our best to uh, make some information. In no way are we an authority, but uh, we're happy to, to help you guys by making some informational videos. So leave us a comment and we can do that for you. Thanks for watching and uh, hope you got something out of it. Thanks guys.